all right good evening one and all my name is somil and in this uh, uh, advanced python class i'm going to be talking about an architecture that is called as 3t design architecture 3t stands for uh, data layer business logic and ui that's why it's called as 3t and um, this can be applied for anything for, uh, let's say iot database and any, any kind of logic this architecture can be applied now i have written a very nice article on that uh, i'll provide the link in the description now le let us uh, implement this architecture and see why is this amazing so first of all we have something known as stack so uh, i mean it, be, even before going that every um, every uh, every programmer or developer usually uses this three layers call as um, sensor or data layer basically all the connection to the database getting data and stuff like that business layer basically where goes your business logic like if the data or some kind of validation you want to do and then the ui ui which is basically just a json you iterate over the json data now i i now what i did is basically instead of passing the json data from the that is the first layer that is a sensor i added a stack layer instead of let's say you have 100 json data you will pass in 100 100 dictionary of 100 uh, keys and values what about 1000 1000 1 million so instead of doing that uh, i mean you are exposing the data right actually but instead of doing that how what if we we pass in the object i mean instead of we'll just pass an object the address so what i did i i created this additional layer on a stack so the data layer post all the data to the stack then the business layer will call the sensor layer so without the uh, without the so here you can see in this uh, i have created an object on, known as sensor so if the business layer does not exist that means the sensor layer does not exist and that means the stack layer does not exist so that means it's pretty secure right so what i do is basically the sensor layer uploads the data to the stack then the business layer creates an object of sensor it pops the data from the stack and then uh, does the business logic and then ui layer that is the ui layer will create an object of business layer this will get the data from this so how the data flows let me show you sensor to stack stack to business layer business layer to ui now let let me show you that in action so this is the code sensor layer right so basically it has a method known as get temperature and get humidity which is basically a random numbers which i'm mocking right now i have a payload to call as get payload so this is a json payload i'm just creating a json payload and i'm uploading the data on the stack so self.stack.data.append excuse me and here you can see i'm creating an instance of a class stack i can create this as a private attribute so that nobody can access it so further more security is there in the business layer here you can see we are creating an um, a class of sensor which will get the data from the sensor so basically uh, this data would be grabbed from the stack through the sensor i mean here you can see so self dot sensor dot get payload dot data dot pop so basically um, you getting the um, you getting the data from the stack you popping the data so get the data here you will perform your business logic whatever business logic you have and the ui basically has a json data it will iterate over the json data and you know print it or do whatever you want so this is a very famous architecture um, usually people use it so let me run this here you can see right now it's giving me zero it's basically random values right i'm calling that get temperature one so this is what it is called so what i'll do is guys i'll keep this link in the description uh, so there is a code also in this link if you have any more questions and if you have uh, uh, any suggestions you can uh, let me know by doing that in the comment section below um i always try my best to get the best content delivered to you so i work really very very hard for on all of my videos i create documentation i write stuff so that you have no issues uh, reading that with this takes a lot of effort i mean to make every video um i hope you are enjoying and i'm trying my best to get the really best contents for you thank you once again for watching my video and i would see you in the next tutorials